Finding a significant other can be a Herculean task for the majority of people, especially when you're a five foot six vampiric pile of abyssally corrupted latex with a bunch of potion vials and a casting dagger inside, and a penchant for stealing, I mean collecting, magic tomes. Who's a wolf? I look just like any other generic floofy booty out there to most. Except I'm all gooey. I mean, I'm a puro. The only diff is I'm blue and sometimes I don't have legs. It's hard to find a mate in these times, especially since most other puro kind of only want one thing, and I can't say it here because Lil Tamias' evil ears need all the innocence he can keep, lest he become jaded and listless and eviler. Current trends have digitized the entire dating pace so we can effectively speedrun the honeymoon phase, and my last poly relationship was with the puma who ended up screwing over our whole herd and herself. While I know fuzz all about the e-dating scene, one thing I do know is dungeon crawling. Socializing antisocially. I, I know how to socialize antisocially. Scrubbing roleplay servers and thirst cords for playmates is fun and all, but I need something more permanent. I'm not just looking for a moonlit fight, I'm trying to get lost in the RNG with someone. Which, apparently I can now do literally. Auntie Tisha told me about this place called Verona Beach. Shapeshifters are big here, and you'll, maybe you'll find you a little boo thing. Or, well, I guess in your case, goo thing! Did my due research, and turns out that non-humans are cool there, not just shapeshifters. So, I hopped on a plane to town. I can meet new peeps, probably find other furs and void creatures. It'll be great! Sure, socialization is scary, but that's basically what I do when I get stir-crazy. How bad can I be? It's the mall! I worked at a mall before. Met up with my cousin, checked out the new digs, did my mall check. Well, I can't go up there. This definitely looks like a mall. And met the rather dapper Estic named Isaac. We had a nice friendly dungeon crawl till we found this tower named Sunder. Ah, uh, this one's alive. We got a live one. Oh. We're gonna put a pin in him for right now. Don't worry, he likes this stuff. I promptly died after meeting him, that's kind of how the game's designed. First run is always a short one, unless it's a speed run. I'm here for a long time, not a fast grind. I awaken dead tired, paramedics zoomed off. I see Isaac off for the night. Where the fuck did Jesse meet such a gentleman? Look at this man! Look at this drip! How does he look relaxed and professional at the same time? We're having a casual conversation! Then I headed inside so I could hit a nice hunk shoe. The next day I went over my messages, waited for Jesse to come over so I could ask where the hell he met Rizzy Smalls. Upon his arrival and subsequent growing of info, I was informed details of a new target for friendship. Apparently he's a sword simp, so maybe I can finally find somebody who was nerdy enough for me to throw my lore at him, and he finds it interesting, let alone cool. Wonder if he's ever seen a wand dagger before. It's just a first date, so I'm kinda just hoping he's not a murderer, a cannibal, both, or a stalker. I fumbled practicing saying hi. Hi, date time. Let's kiss. Hi. <coughs> 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 Hi. Went over to the cafe to try and fix these sudden hiccups that I gave myself. I get an iced tea since I want to sleep later, and scope out the exits in case I feel caged tomorrow. I go to sleep in a calmer disposition. However, when I wake up... Anxiety attack later, I drag my tail to the meetup. Oh hey, a jawline is waving at me. Well, he's forward. And a nerd. Lit. He waggles his eyebrows playful. Uh... Oh. 
that was a pair of entendres. So apparently he's not big on weapon folk, but eh, honestly, it's just good to know that not everybody in this town is either I change into cool things and am also sexy as fuck, or I can't transform but I'm still ultimately in a career that's more legal than yours. He hands me some components for my purse. Guess he heard all the tinkering junk I have clattering around in there from the dunge. Holy crap on my aunt. Sure, he's a bit odd, but one, so am I, and two, I like his enthusiasm. He did kind of fumble the bag, though. Is what it is. First impressions are hard. It, Jesse understood where I was coming from. He wanted to arrange another meetup for me, so I passed the time by crafting a recipe, meeting up with Sunder at his club, busted out my blue dress in case I had to dance to look normal, too. When I get there, Sunder and a pretty kitty are chatting about soulmates and wanting to believe in them, but the idea is seeming near impossible due to the odds. Relatable. Yeah, that makes enough. That makes sense. Finishers cause enemies to bleed. I haven't even used you yet. Some goofy banter betwixt us leads to some dancing on the floor. Now, I'm not a party wolf, but I do like a nice vibe. We had our little shimmy when Sharp Stuffs excuses himself to the bathroom, prompting a warning from Pretty Kitty Should Mandy. Really be careful, little one. Sunder eats up lovers one by one. He seems nice. But he's double-edged. But um, Tish. I know you said you're looking for a soulmate, so... Believe me, Sunder isn't it. He lies, and he's dangerous. Sunder's using you. Part of it is his addiction, but he's too selfish and violent to be a good boyfriend. Then why are you his friend? I'd rather be with you. Duck Ugh. Are you talking about drugs? Violent? Yeah. In my experience, no matter what they say, people don't change. But I like you. You're sweet. I'm just trying to help. Be careful. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Good luck. He's dangerous prey. So Mandy makes her leave for the night, and me and Sunder dance till we can't anymore. I do laundry the next day while texting Sunder. Mom claims that wrestling venomous snakes is somehow safer and more rewarding than dunge crawls. Eric acted... weird. And didn't really pull back when I expressed that I wasn't leaning into it. I went window shopping since I'm a broke bitch. Then hopped back into the dunge with Sunder. To ponder the real questions of monsters, just taking over a mall, but still allowing normal business to go on. Dungeon fear still unidentified. That is an excellent question. Hey, do you buy stuff while you're out here? So the boy who cried Riz and I wreaked havoc until... Go. Ew, that looks pretty. The hilt is wrapped in several layers of leather. The double-edged blade fit. The double-edged blade is chipped. I'm sorry, I was trying to see if you would knock the hell out. You would beat up! I'm sorry. Okay, so I was right, Sunder. She is knocked the fuck out. something all three of us can kind of relate on, especially since you own a bar. Later. So she got the hell out of there and we continued on, even taking a break at the massage chairs. A long one. I got attacked by my consumer backlog. 
literally getting chased by all of my unread Discord messages, and now I'm getting attacked by my anime backlog. And my Netflix backlog. We showed those monsters. Those weren't monsters, those were literally my backlog of text messages and things I'm supposed to watch on Netflix. Found a secret store. Chaos. You push the button and feel a rumbling in your A hole opens where the vending machine is. Mysterious. Uh, I guess I paid for this. It's a Lamy. Get out humans down here now. Why this place is exclusive? I gotta save up my money from the garage. Stop getting defeated by the likes of humans. I mean, the orange isn't really PvP. Since you're worthy to shop at the heart of Verona. Some indoor window shopping oh, and a quick nerd, nerd test. Oh, I loved Pinball back in the day. They had the classic one, Ballyhoo. Mm. Doesn't like it. Doesn't look like it. Everyone forgets the best stuff. What do you want to play instead? Shoot, shoot, kill, kill. Dangerous dancing rhythm or driving. Dangerous dancing rhythm. Those machines still exist? I could swear I destroyed them all. Just kidding. You go ahead and have fun. I'll save my moves for the real ones for it. Sunder would love saying that my mom can destroy a pinball score if you really want her. We got overwhelmed, but I got five on it. Ow. Eric said mean things about my cool cousin. Hmm. Ma talks about how she's not afraid to go away for a while should someone mess with me. And I got another warning about Sunder. From Jesse. Hmm. Sunder tried to send me an edge pick. I'm not going to explain what that is. I denied that shot hard and met up with Rizzy Smalls for some training. Fencing has much more intricacies to it than I thought. Turns out your blade can say a lot about you. For obvious reasons, I didn't show him my dagger. Repose. Holding roll lets you counter an attack if used just before encountering the attack. Guess my withholding of banter can be weaponized. I chatted with Isaac about his investments and business engagements before a man barges in and the mood becomes much, much more hostile. So I said bye. Me and Ma kind of both questioned how strange this town is without actually saying it, but you know, kind of saying it, even though we didn't want to say the town was weird because, to be honest, it's kind of mean since I've only been here for like two days. Mom exposed that she went through a decade and change of therapy, making my appetite for chaos make a lot more sense. Also, all the time she's flat out gone wild dog on people. She is a hyena after all. Valeria appears to be sunbathing in her knife form. Eh, I don't judge. Pick up the dagger. Have we not learned anything? Have we not learned that that's rude? So. Fuck, am I part of this game's target audience? She's fucking stunning. Big surprise there. She's also a dork, and she thinks like me. I'm feeling eerily targeted now, since I use a dagger, which is basically a knife, but more bougie. This guy who's covered in dirt and mud shows up and eyes me down while smoking a cigarette. Turns out he's Valeria's buddy, making sure I don't pull something weird. You know, makes sense. I can be a bit much on first impression. Lit. Escape. Enemies nearby get confused when you roll out of sight. Plus, she just met me and doesn't new know friend. if I'm like a psycho or a vampire. And if you turn out or an a new friend. A rose? Is this Sunder? Uh, thank you, Nikki. Eric. Okay, it's weird now. This is weird now. You carry it inside. Why? Hey, what's up? Having a good day? Uh. This is getting weird now.
I don't know if I even want to give you the time of day. All right, I haven't given this dude the time of day, nor have I brought him here. Okay, I've only been here four days, and I have a person to write off. Business as usual. I guess I attract chaos no matter where I go. Maybe Cuz knew that too. This dude doesn't know how to take a hint. Now it's not excusable. I never took him here. I'm keeping my dagger on me from now on. Let's go meet Sunder. We chat on the dance floor for a bit. I learned that Tawars are different from scimitars in the form of length and reach. I joke about how now he has to help me get stuff off of my top shelf. Dance floor. Do more damage when surrounded. Swinger. Finishers have a larger attack. His phone goes off. He checks it and quickly puts it away, then tells me not to go slithering off. Now, I know it confirmed when I see it. Someone's here. He's gone for a bit, which made my ear twitch. So I went to the bathroom to, uh, to, 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 to check on him. Back door is open. Is that them? Cause someone like someone like that's watching us. Uh huh? Oh hey Oisey. So this is weird. I'm gonna go. No need to sneak up on a guy. I was coming back in soon. Who was that? What were you doing? What did you say about me? Are you dating somebody? Are you just not going to question the fact that homie was definitely a vampire five seconds ago? Are we just going to skip that? Like his eyes were redded out. Homie had fangs. We're just going to skip over that part? I get that he could turn into a sword, but come on. You're not exactly asking the important questions here. Excuse me, is this man a vampire? It doesn't help that apparently homie is known around town for being such a dangerous catch. But I didn't know this would low-key get deadly. It gets brushed over, and you get to say nothing about this, by the way. What the fuck? So that's a pin that's probably gonna bother me for a very long time while we explore. He tells me that he's like this by nature, jokingly tries to hit on me again. I hand over the junk rows I cobbled together as a sign that we're still cool, and I head home for the night. Notes from the day swirling around in my head. I met another bi person. He's hot. He's outgoing. He's toxic. He can turn into a sword. And he's vampiric, just like me. Is there another set of drawbacks I'm gonna find? Fuck, does he know I'm a vampiro? Just sent over some more data on a new friend. And I went for a walk to clear my very, very confused and clouded head. Is that Isaac? Isaac and Sunder seem to be arguing over something? I know you're trying to help and I appreciate it, but you have to believe me. I don't mean to doubt you, it's just that it's a 2%, it's just that a 2% interest rate is unheard of. I'm sure you, yeah, you're sure you read the paperwork correctly. You have a copy? I got the loan a long time ago from a uh, family. Well, that makes slightly more sense. Love money can be very good. Let's answer the question, should I pay it back as soon as possible or not? Normally, I'd say yes. I've been burned many times by mixing family fights. But it depends on your savings. What's your club's burn rate in love? No open flames allowed here, no fashion shows either. Zero, I guess. Let's try one more time. How much do you spend every day? Now there's a tough one. Depends on how much I spend on gifts and special occasions. What do you think, Lizzie? Should I buy something nice this month? Uh, if you want. Well, you know I always want. I just met you two years ago. Sunder Grin Shades. You see, Isaac? Lazy Ghost is an expensive friend you have. You haven't bought me anything yet. 
I'm late for my next If you'd like to continue this, perhaps next time, bring a few bank statements. Maybe some pay stubs. Stubs? I prefer to pay people that whole paycheck. Thank you. Yes, of course. I'll uh, prepare my advice for Good luck with your business, Sunday. Lovely to see you, Oisey. Yeah, next time, bottle service on me. For the both of you. Okay, so they weren't arguing, they were talking. You say your goodbyes. Well, good to know they weren't fighting. Alright, I'll stop stalling. I got called out as soon as I walked into Paradise Lost. Olivia looked at me and just knew I liked spoiling animals. So she got me to say it. We kind of talked about our struggle with dates. Somebody apparently stared at us for a sec, and Convo kind of devolved to us petting cats and me getting swabbed in a literal sea of kitty. So she thinks I'm weird. Fair. Don't you look at me like that. Eric continues to play his rather creepy hand and flat out admits he was stalking us through the shop window. Yeah, that dagger's staying in my hip now. My friends don't need to get bloodied for this. Jess tells me about the magical properties of the 4th of July barbecue, and I decide to go for another crawl so I can get familiar with Val. Oh hey, it's Isaac again. I proceeded to shock the duo of Isaac and Val by telling them about some pepper veggie dumplings I made once that still had yet to be topped, even by my carnivorous background. They say we should share a food platter at some time when Isaac is free, and I head over to the dungeon with Val in tow. Val is introduced to my rather frantic style of battle as we bob and weave through the dunge. We got kind of roughed up and shared some tea. Hey, 3 HP can save your life, and being topped off is being topped off. We looted secrets, stabbed anything that moved, and rested at the indoor fountain. Honestly, with how dry the air is in here, this felt heavenly. I didn't know void mass needed gentle misting. More stabby stabby and get to pull my nerd check. This time, I fail it as we both proceed to nerd out about the similarities between pointillism and pixel artistry. And then I tell her about one of the Discord servers in. Hence how I failed the nerd check. Anyways, eventually we continue our literal roguery till we get to a locked door. With all the change we pocketed, we decided we'd gained enough scratch for one crawl. Jesse hits me with data on one of his exes and how they're single, and Val asks me to hang at the museum with her. I like art. Apparently the movie theater sells both positive and negative energy. Hi. I saunter over to the museum and me and Val go on an expedition of the various exhibitions. You find Valeria in the lobby and she leads me to the museum. In the first gallery, Valeria eyes daggers at one of the sculptures. Get it? It's too perfect. Perfect perfection is so boring. I don't trust it. Beauty is boring. Saying I'm not perfect, I prefer paintings. Perfection doesn't exist. But anyways. Me too. So much more left to the imagination. Valeria guides you through the museum without a map, according to her whim. Would you like to offer the gift? Hey, you got bangles and bracelets and shit on, so why not? Still rank one. Beginning to think that maybe I should have hung on to that. These are exactly my style. Yeah, I can see that you're actively wearing them. You have a good eye. Thank you. She talks about the fine. She talks about art with intimate fondness, like their eccentric family members. Just wondering, if you could steal a painting from any museum, which would it be? That is a loaded question. I know, it kind of my favorite. Never, you really never thought about it before? I'd steal the birth of Venus. I cannot say that name. It's in the Musée d'Orsay, ground floor, near the stairs. So you have a favorite spot, got it. Really, she used the size. It's 3 by 2.18 meters. It would be a crime to roll it up. One, stealing is a crime. Two, if you rolled that up, it would destroy it. So yeah, it would be a crime. 
That's an oil painting. You've thought this through. Well, wouldn't do to get caught, would it? Probably not. I'd miss out on any chance to enjoy my painting if I was in prison. Now it's your turn. What would you- I actually looked this stuff up to see which painting I wouldn't mind hanging on a wall somewhere in my house. It was summer days, that shit is my aesthetic. Val spotted a mural at the mall and says we should check it out sometime. When the guard friend shows up and he's glaring at me. Wait. No, he's looking at her too. Okay, I'm lost. Val wants to ditch the museum, so I show her wondrous cantrips, one of my minor tomes. Cast divert attention, and we crowd hop out of there with Dirty Jet and I'm the wiser. We decide to lay low in my place for the night. Nice place. She's confident and knows what she wants. She figures out too quickly what you want too. After she snuggles into you, her hilt perfect in your palm, you're warm and cozy and soon fall asleep. And in the morning, she's gone. Yo, did I just have sex with a sword? I don't want to think about that too hard. Uh, I think I'm just gonna dunge for a bit. I want to see what lies at the depths. I went diving with Val once more. We beat a boss phone. We critiqued art, the journey of life, and the journey of the dunge. Reminiscent of Stein. And I made Dora shed a tear of joy. Uh, didn't think she'd hunter check me. Found her at the park, practically trying to weird daggers at ducks from her eyes. Ironic. She waxes her disdain for waterfowl from trauma, and I express my ambivalence for them. Ducks don't have ducks don't have teeth. It was a crime scene. You could even say it was don't. Maybe don't you dare. You could say please don't. Please don't 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 say it. Please don't say it. Just don't. We can you can you can be reasonable about this. You don't have to you don't have to finish that joke. You really don't. You really don't. I am begging you here. I just met you four days ago. A foul deed. <sighs> See now I think we can both agree that pun was super underhanded. So back to business, too long didn't play, Jake is an ex of Val's, a poly ex. Val dates him and his sister at the same time. Apparently things fell through, but with my experiences, I can kind of only see that as an inevitability when you're that young and lost. Love rank 3, backstab, attacks do critical damage to confused enemies. Barbecue time, let's get a 4 liter and head over. Ew, it's vibey out here. Fuck, everyone's looking at me. Jonah's a peach. It, well, he's a bear, but he, he's super, he's a chill dude is what I mean, okay? He, he's a cool dude. Awkward, like someone I don't want to talk about, but skittish, like that weirdo I see in the mirror every day. Apparently he's also an axe. Wait, I can put my shoulder into a few swings if needed. Oh fuck, Eric is here. Eric abruptly elbows his way into the conversation. Oh dear God, why? What are you doing here, man? Oh, hello. May I kiss your hand? No. Eric smiles as if you made a joke only he could understand. Jonah glances between you and Eric. Hey, Eric, uh, I didn't know you'd be here. You don't seem a patriotic type. Well, I heard the elusive Oizikos would be here, so I had to make an appearance. With the romance of the barbecue and fireworks, I thought this might be my chance. And now you're getting weird again. You do realize that I am literally right here, right? Like, I'm staring at all three of you. Like, Valeria is actively going, nice jumping, I got you with the alley-oop. Let, let's try and get us out of here. Like, you can actively see Jonah's, like, blink twice if you're in danger. Blink twice if he's, like, I don't know, following you or something. 
Meanwhile, Valeria is like, don't worry, I got this. Real subtle, bro. <laughs> Subtlety is for combat and business. Love is an entirely different battlefield. And I intend to bring all my cannons to bear on time. I am not a target. I'm not interested. So say your lips, but your body language says something else entirely. Yeah, um, you know, I'm kind of trying not to look like I want to, you know, throw something at you. So let's just say you're misinterpreting the signs and move on. Party music plays from the speakers inside the house. Everyone starts talking louder. Thank you, literally everybody. Thank you, everybody, except Eric. Thank you, Valeria. Thank you, Jonah. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Draco. Thank you, Jax. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Tr uh, thank you, Tyrone. Thank you, Tycho. Fuck you, Eric. Eric shudders as if in deep pain. Cope. Seethe and mauled. Hey Jonah, you mind letting me put my shoulder into a few swings over here? Jonah must have some sort of history with Eric if he can that quickly recognize his bad behavior. And just must be able to realize when the fam is gonna lash out because DJ decides to get amped. The vibey beats causing Creeps McMandark to get lost, lest his ears get blessed by the game's soundtrack. And like I thought, Jonah went to school with Sam and Swordsman over here. Apparently he's known for being the odd one out, but never making that a good thing. We had a nice, friendly barbecue, watched the fireworks, and I said my farewells for the evening. Alright, so I have more to come from like this little expedition through Dungeon 1, but uh, I kind of miscalculated the fact that this was two three-hour streams equating to six hours of content, i.e. it took me six hours to actually get through the dungeon. Thanks to everybody that watched, and thank you for watching all the way to the end, especially with this, because this is, uh, you know, quite a lot of questions that are just popping up out of nowhere. Um, stay tuned for the next episode. It's not really going to answer too many questions. And until next time, um, use a condom. <laughs>